play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Well, before dawn this morning, the banditos found out what prize or reckless behavior had won them. And I don't think that they liked it too much. This morning, the FBI searched 25 homes all across the state with connections to the Bandito's Motorcycle Club. Before breaking news, Action 7 News reporter John Carnelli learned why this was happening. I dug into a 145-page affidavit the FBI filed to execute those search warrants today. The reason comes down to a planned attack after members of the club were killed earlier this year. To some, they just look like patches on a vest. The motorcycle is a symbol of freedom. But the patches hold meaning. They think this is their turf. Turf that needs to be protected in the eyes of the banditos. So they were calling for violence to increase within the state, usually against other motorcycle clubs. Motorcycle clubs that aren't considered the 1%, a patch the banditos are proud to don. And we'll call them what they are. They're a gang. The American Motorcyclist Association claims 99% of motorcyclists are law-abiding citizens. That riding motorcycles doesn't make you a criminal. Leaving the 1% an outlier. That when it comes to these violent, criminally organized motorcycle gangs, we will be relentless. That relentless attitude by the FBI and law enforcement led to searches at 25 homes, Homes, law enforcement says, belong to Bandito's members. Wherever they were hiding, wherever they were going to be at, that's where we're going to go. During the raids, 151 firearms were seized, thousands of rounds of ammunition, numerous ballistics vests, fentanyl, meth, and cocaine, plus a stolen police radio. These are things from today throughout the state that were seized. To understand what led to the search warrants, you must know history. In May, two banditos were killed in Red River after a dispute with another motorcycle club, the Water Dogs. One member of that club was also killed. Five were injured. So when Red River happened, that was kind of like the wake up call for everyone that was here. The Outlaw Motorcycle Gang Task Force grew out of that investigation. It's a partnership between the FBI and other state law enforcement agencies. We're going to go after the individuals who really are kind of continuing that propaganda of increasing violent crime within the state of New Mexico. A federal affidavit shows the FBI worked with 17 confidential informants to learn Bandito's members were observing Water Dogs members, tracking them to kill them in the aftermath of the Red River shooting. Because people are wondering, right, amongst themselves, who said what, right? It's the usual thing that people turn on themselves. They want to find out where is it that we got all this information. Informants told the FBI that some of those killings would happen on interstate road trips planned in the coming months. They planned a large attack and even got prison gangs involved to try and hit a water dog member in jail in New Mexico. So any group that wants to come in and do similar activities to what we've seen with the bandidos, we will pursue them. The affidavit showed one man had the power to approve the actions. Joaquin Martinez, the highest ranking bandito known in the state of New Mexico. They do things in coordinated efforts and it's a big group. Coordination included obtaining firearms for members who already had felonies. We're going to test those firearms. We're going to see if they've been attributed or associated to other crimes. During today's raids, they retrieved items with swastikas on them. Items the FBI says ties to prison gangs. Do those affiliations even make sense to me now as I even say that? Not really, but in prison, they're just trying to survive and making sure the bully inside the prison doesn't terrorize them. Of the 25 homes searched today, 14 had no ties to previous arrests or felonies, including the home of Joaquin Martinez. The man investigators say was the head man. And we looked at that quite a bit, and maybe that's why these guys feel they can just do whatever they want and with impunity, right? But impunity should no longer be the mentality, no matter what patch you may wear on your vest. There will be consequences, and today showed that. The banditos want to continue to endanger our citizens. There'll be more days like today. That decision is up to them. Three arrests were made today during those searches. The FBI says more may come after they look at computers and test firearms. I'm John Cardinelli reporting KOAT Action 7 News. The FBI says there are 12 banditos chapters in New Mexico. Each one has up to 100 members. It's believed there are about 2,500 members nationwide.